Good morning, guys. The fog has lifted, luckily. Um, there's sun waiting out there. There's literally not even a, a single breath of wind. It's just, it's dead quiet. So nice. Um, everything is soaking wet from the fog. Everything is just, especially my sheepskin is, yeah, absolutely soaked. I slept so good tonight. Um, kind of chilly, but doesn't really matter. It was nice and warm in my sleeping bag, so anyway, plan for today. We're starting the F-35. Um, along the way, I will be meeting a guy named uh, Jöster. Sorry if I don't pronounce that correctly. He has been helping me uh, plan my route here in Iceland a lot. Um, I think he does some guided tours and stuff for motorcyclists here in Iceland. So he knows all the, all the good stuff to see and do. Um, so yeah, that would be cool to meet him along the way. I'm really excited to see what the route is actually like because some people say it's actually doable, it's just like a regular car. Some says you definitely need a 4x4. Yeah, we'll see about the road conditions, what it's like. Can't be that bad, right? So, all right, let's uh, get all packed up and then leave, I guess. Get this day started. Look at that sun. Oh, so nice. I think this will be a good day, folks. I have a feeling. Right now, 8.30 in the morning. A little bit later than I would have liked it to be, but I just slept so nice <laughs> this morning. <laughs> As we can see from the map, it looks like we are actually on the F-35 right now. F-35. I read uh, yesterday uh, on some webpage that for a long time they thought that the F-35 was, um, was cursed somehow. I don't know why, I don't know if it meant that it meant they have a lot of accidents and stuff. Just that uh, it wasn't very popular to ride because they consider the road cursed. Fingers crossed, all trolls and witches and evil stuff is taking a day off and enjoying the sun today and <laughs> leaving us alone. <laughs> I am so freaking happy about my Venture Heat gear <laughs> on days like this. It's 8 degrees and quite chilly. That is sponsored gear, by the way. You can see the video about the gear on my YouTube channel. And I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Ah, don't let Iceland fool you. Even though it's bright sun, it is chilly a Oh. The fog is running thick up here. <laughs> you know what? It's actually quite nice with the fog coming in and going away like that. It just makes it so mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> just really cool. We're scenic. We're moody. Jesus. 
is what a view! <laughs> We're definitely stopping here. <laughs> it is drone time. You can be here, Loki. Check out that massive glacier in the horizon. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is huge. And some big snow caked mountains in the horizon here. And here in the middle is just flat. Flat, flat, flat country. Now there was a massive <laughs> change in the road. Just a lot of like big big rocks and such. That makes it more interesting. I'm getting close to uh, Viera Berlin, which are is, uh, some uh, hot springs should be. Yeah, probably down there, right? Well, I can see some smoke going on in the horizon there. It's cool. Hello! <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was you! <laughs> I'm doing quickly a little bit of tourist touristing while Yurtur is waiting for me down there. This is Vera Velil. It's like a, a hot spring in the middle of nowhere. It's quite cool. You can even take like a bath in some of the hot, hot springs here. It's nice and nice. Nice and warm. Imagine being out here riding, being super cold, and then can just strip off your clothes and jump right into a, a nice hot bath. <laughs> That's perfect. touch the, the water from the river coming down from here. I wonder if it's warm or not. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's lukewarm. Oh, that's so nice. That's a good, probably, I don't know, 35 degrees. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> All right, now let's do a uh, some writing.
You okay? Okay. Sure. Yeah. So 10 10 k's into the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Area. We can do that. Yeah. yeah. Kellingafjöll is a mountain range in the central Icelandic highlands. The name is a combination of two words, Kerling meaning old lady and Fjöll meaning mountain. Legends has it that a woman troll was walking in the area and when the sun came up she was turned to stone. Within this mountain range is Vera Dalir, one of the largest geothermal areas in the country. So far the road was looking pretty good. After a while we ended up behind some workers scraping the roads, making the surface a bit loose and interesting to ride on. For those of you who don't already know, this was my first season doing any kind of proper gravel riding, so this was a bit challenging, but I was definitely up for it. Getting closer to the machine, I of course realized I had to get my ass to the other side of the road to pass it, but that big pile of sand and stone in the middle had me a bit hesitant. Then Jukta passed me, meaning he crossed it, so how hard could it be? Better just get up and give some extra gas and then... Ah, beautiful. Needless to say, that definitely was not the way to do it. Even though I did practice how to lift my bike on my own before going to Iceland, I was very happy to have Jörtur's help to put the bike back on the road again. And also to Take a path for me to make sure that did not happen again. Distracting. Okay. Slow and steady. I told him to go first so we could show the way where the best way to go down would be. Right. Humpty Dumpty. We'll be fine. 
We had one fall today, we don't need one more. My wrist is hurting a little bit from it, but it should be fine. Probably you'll feel it tomorrow. I think I just stretch it, stretch it quite a bit. All right, gas over it. Yep, very good. Gas is usually the solution to everything except sand, which is the second time I'm learning that now. I've fallen twice with this bike and both times it's been on loose sand, so I got some practicing to do with, with riding in sand because I honestly have no idea how to do that. Don't know that at all. I'm over here in first gear like me. And I'm going to continue to do first gear because this is just madness. I would have never done this route on my own, so I'm really, really glad I had the company of Jöster's today. Because this was really worth the ride. The view is spectacular, like nothing I've ever... You don't see this anywhere else, I think. It's, uh, it's mind-blowing. We'll be fine. It will be fine. Look where you're going. Steady on the brakes. Oh, fine. Do, do, do. Right, awesome. Good. Oh, Loki, we're taking quite the beating today. Oh, you can't see it on the video, I think, because. These rocks are really like the size of your fist. Oh, there we go. It's better. We're going to get down here one way or the other. Do, 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 do. Let's try to catch up with them. Oh. Uh. Uh. Call it the song of terror. But, uh. Spectacular view here. It's like someone just ripped open the nature. We are back on F35. Um, it's already four o'clock in the evening. Afternoon, I should say. I have no idea how much we got left of this route, but probably like, I don't know, an hour and a half, something. That's just me guessing. But yeah, that was definitely worth a detour. Now let's finish this road. check out Gullfossen together with a billion other tourists <laughs> this is the lower parking there's one on top as well with the, like a shop and a restaurant and stuff and it is packed with people so yeah I guess tourist season is definitely not over in Iceland yes
Next tourist attraction, the geysers. That's it for now. Let's we'll go first. Yester will be heading home now, and I will. First of all, I need to find a gas station, and then I'll find somewhere to camp tonight. So yeah, let's see what we can find. This is where the camp is at. I think it's called uh, Logarvatn, the city, the village here. These flies can. Oh. Ew. They're going in your your mouth and your nose and your ears and everything. Off. Leave me alone. Ew. Fly Shield 101 <sighs> Guys, my wrist is hurting like a f <laughs> and it's starting to swell up a little bit <sighs> You probably can't see it but <sighs> Better put on some compression, luckily I got my first aid kit with me from um, med bags, of course With my name on it and everything Put on a little bit of here it's first like a doing like that. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> That's gonna be interesting, guys. I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm a nurse actually. Um, although I never put a bandage on myself. So <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, just to give it some support and to. Stop it from swelling too much. And then we'll see you again tomorrow, I guess. Aye. This is Coban, it sticks to itself, so no need to um, attach it to anything. All right. See tomorrow <laughs> what it will look like. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, A for adventure. <sighs> Alright guys, it's time to take a look at the map. Today I rolled down here and this is where the uh, 35, row 35 starts. But all the way down here. Do, 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 do. This is Vera Veller, where the first, um, where I met, I'm um, sorry, uh, where I met the Jörtur, where the hot springs were. We continued this way, and then we took the route up to Kerlingarfjöll, which is right here. Continued down here, and then we came to, hold on, where is it? There we go, Gulfos is all the way down here. And the geysir I can hear. And then I continued this way and is camping here tonight at Lugervatten. Lugervatten. Uh, and yeah, this is by far the longest I've ridden um, in a day, all the way from north down to uh, south here. Plan for tomorrow, I think, is to start waking my, making my way up uh, in this area. The weather is supposed to be good there. Uh, and then spend a couple of days in uh, yeah West Fjords and and this area right here. Anyway, oh, that's it for uh, tonight. Um, fingers crossed, my hand will be a lot better tomorrow morning. But yeah, staying positive because we're so good at that.
All right. Thank you for watching today's episode. Um, and yeah, hope I see you tomorrow. Bye.